pause this video and give this problem a try. And when you have an answer, resume the video to check if you got the answer correct. In this problem, we're given the reaction Y becomes Z. We're also given a table that contains the equilibrium concentrations of Y and Z and the equilibrium, the, sorry, the initial and the equilibrium concentrations of Y and Z. And we're told that the experiment's goal is to determine the equilibrium constant. Then we're told that a, a second experiment is ran in which the equilibrium concentration of Z is one. And it's asking which, which of the statements is true, indicating the proper concentration of Y at equilibrium in this second experiment. So we're trying to determine the equilibrium constant, Kc, and we should know that Kc is concentration of products over concentration of reactants. So this, in this case, would be concentration Z divided by the concentration of Y. These both have a coefficient of one, so they're both just raised to the power of one. We know that when the first experiment was done, these are the equilibrium concentrations. So we can plug it in and get the K value. So that'd be 0.8, because Z is 0.8, and Y's equilibrium concentration is 1.2. So 0.8 divided by 1.2, that's approximately two thirds, which is point, which is approximately 0.667. Then we're told that we're running in a second experiment, this time the equilibrium concentration Z is one, and it's done at the, ex the same temperature. That's very important, because if the temperature is the same, the K value will be the same. So we can just copy and paste this, change the point, the Kc into point 0.667, the same Kc as the previous experiment because the temperature is the same. We know that the equilibrium concentration in Z is one, so change that to one, and then we would just do algebra to solve for Y. So then that means that Y is equal to one divided by 0 0.667, plug that to your calculator, and that's 1.5. So the answer here is B. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Acing Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.